A student's first day at a new school is daunting enough, but students starting secondary school in Tanzania face an additional challenge. In primary schools, lessons are taught in Kiswahili. At their new schools, English is the language of instruction. Recognizing the need for a program to address the language barrier, the British Council, in association with VSO and the Ministry of Education, Science, Technology and Vocational Training, revitalized a course for Form 1 students, which was funded by UK Aid. Baseline is a course, is an orientation course for Form 1s who start their secondary education for the first time and therefore the course helps to build confidence in English language, which is the language of instruction in Form 1. The baseline is needed, is useful because it will assist our kids who are completing Standard 7 and expecting to join Form 1 where they will be taught uh, subjects by using English language. So in primary they are being taught by using Swahili. So in order to prepare them to cope with the English language, so baseline is very important for them. With over 30 years of tradition behind it, in the last two years, Equipped ELT has reached 800 schools and well over 150,000 students with a newly updated baseline course. The course helps them learn better as they interact with the material. They learn interactively and the methodology is really engaging learners to build their confidence in using English language when they learn their secondary education subjects. Is speaking an African content. What do you think will happen? You mean that's what the correct answer? Okay, Abdul, what do you say? In 2014, the baseline course was comprehensively reworked under a new program called Equipped ELT. The program places emphasis on student-centered interactive learning, which requires teachers to be trained in the methodology. Equip has been a great experience to me as a teacher trainer. It has added to me some pedagogical skills and again some uh, more experience in hands-on activities on how to work better with the students in their learning on how to teach and deal with students. Because of this innovative approach to teacher training, Form 1 students are now reaping the benefits. We, they're now developing and they're now improving in English because the foundation we're giving them or the baselines, the pre-instructions of using English in secondary education is now helping them because they're finding other subjects simple. Uh, you know, most of them are, are coming from these normal schools where English is not the medium of instruction. So if they join secondary education and they find English as the medium of instruction, they find it very difficult. But because of the baseline, they're now improving. They're now improving and they now love even the school. Uh, the baseline has changed our teaching at our school because formerly our students used to hate English. But because of the te techniques that we have imitated from the baseline, in fact, it has changed us. For instance, the use of gestures, it's much uh, emphasized in the baseline. So always use uh, gestures and we always insist the students to love English. We came to realize that uh, a baseline was beyond the expected uh, uh, goals which was set before. because. Uh, uh, students who were studying uh, social sciences, they benefited from the baseline. Science students, mathematics students, even teachers themselves from other fields of studies, they are able to develop uh, new uh, teaching methodologies by using these baseline materials. So we came to realize that it was useful even to the higher levels, not only in Form 1s. Yeah.
I'd just like to say a big thank you on behalf of the British Council for everyone who's been involved in Equipped. Um, a big thank you to the Ministry of Education for their help and support, um, to our funders DFID and also our project partners such as VSO. It's been a real pleasure for us to be involved in delivering these quality outcomes for education in Tanzania. and. Um, a real pleasure given that 30 years ago we developed the original baseline book as well. So there's a nice, I think, long-term impact and legacy for Tanzania. So a big thank you. Thank you, everyone.